Onibaba, Demon Hag, directed by Kaneto Shindo, released in 1964. 1964's Onibaba is a historical drama and horror film directed by Kaneto Shindo. Taking place in medieval Japan during a civil war, it is about two women who kill soldiers to steal their weapons, armor, and possessions to survive, and a man who comes between them. Let's take a look. Near Kyoto in the mid-14th century, two soldiers are fleeing battle through a field of tall, thick reeds. They are ambushed and killed by an older woman and her daughter-in-law. The women then loot the bodies and drop the corpses in a deep pit hidden in the field. They trade the armor and weapons to a merchant in exchange for food. The merchant propositions the older woman, but she refuses him. A neighbor named Hachi has returned from the war. The women ask him about Kishi, the older woman's son and the younger woman's husband, who went to war with Hachi. Hachi tells them that both men deserted the war and that Kishi was killed by a farmer when they tried to steal food. The older woman blames Hachi for her son's death and tells the younger woman to stay away from him. Hachi shows interest in the younger woman and seduces her. She sneaks out every night to be with him. The older woman learns of their affair and is jealous and angry. She tries to seduce Hachi, but he rejects her, she begs him not to take her partner away, as she cannot kill and rob soldiers alone. One night, a lost samurai wearing a hanya mask forces the older woman to guide him out of the reeds. He says that he wears the mask to protect his incredibly handsome face. In the reeds, the older woman tricks him into falling to his death in the pit. She climbs down to steal his belongings, including the mask. Under the mask, she finds that his face is disfigured and ugly. On a later night, the younger woman sneaks out again to see Hachi. The older woman, wearing the samurai's mask and robes, stops her and scares her into going home. In the morning, she tells the younger woman that the demon was real and was sent to punish her for having an affair with Hachi. The younger woman avoids meeting Hachi during the day, but still tries to meet him at night. During a storm, the older woman tries scaring her again with the robes and mask, but fails. The older woman realizes that she cannot stop them from being together. After making love to the younger woman in the reeds, Hachi returns home to find a deserter stealing his food. The deserter takes Hachi's spear and kills him with it. The younger woman returns home to find the older woman still wearing the mask and robes. The rain has made the mask impossible to remove. The older woman begs the younger woman to help her. The younger woman agrees as long as the older woman stops interfering in her relationship with Hachi. The older woman, defeated, promises to do so. Try as they might, the mask still will not come off. The younger woman breaks the mask with a mallet. Removing the mask, she sees that the older woman's face has become disfigured, just as the samurai's face had been. Believing the older woman to be an actual demon, she flees in terror. 
The older woman follows, shouting that she is a human being, not a demon. As they run through the field of reeds, the younger woman jumps over the pit. The older woman pursues and jumps over the pit, and the film ends. We do not see if she clears the pit or not. Onibaba, directed by Kaneto Shindo, released in 1964, 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, average rating of 7.2 out of 10. Thank you for watching. See you next time.